All right, here we go from Dickens or Declan's world. <laughs> Question, actually two questions. How do I get online men to engage in real conversation when all they wanna do is text? Hey, beautiful, how to let a man down in a respectful way? So two questions, okay. Let's first do the question, how to engage. So if you're not familiar with my acronym NICE, N-I-C-E, N-I-C-E, the N stands for name, name, say his name. The I stands for inquisitive, ask questions, ask questions. The C stands for compliment, and the E stands for enthusiasm. So it might be an enthusiastic emoji. So it simply might look like this. Hey, Jonathan, nice to connect with you. I see you read a lot of the same books. Are you into personal development? So I have a picture of all the books I like, um, a stack of books um, that I like to read. So I see you're into, are you into personal development? By the way, you're really easy on the eyes. Now I'm a Leo, so I like that. But some compliment, it might simply be a compliment like, wow, what an awesome thing that you're um, into personal development. So that's a compliment. And then you end with enthusiasm, an enthusiastic emoji. Put a smiley face or something, create a little emu uh, and see if that person engages with you. Questions is how we create engagement. And if a person doesn't, so let me share something with you. I had a woman write me recently and she said, you seem like the real deal. But then she went on to ask question about the distance between us. And I really appreciate it because it created a dialogue between us. Uh, and, and ultimately you want to create a dialogue. And if they're incapable of creating a dialogue, this is what you say, bye-bye. So how do you let a guy down when you don't feel like it's a good fit? You simply say, hey, Jonathan, I really appreciate the time to get to know you. Um, I don't feel we're a match, and I want to wish you all the best on your own search for love. I don't feel we're a match, and I want to wish you all the best. Or you could simply say, I don't feel like we're a match, and I want to wish you all the best. Now, here's what's going to happen. They're going to get angry. They're going to get pissed off. They're going to go, what are you talking about? Who cares that they get angry, upset? It's natural to get angry, upset when we when somebody feels like they've been rejected. But you haven't rejected them. All you've simply said is you're not my person. If they feel rejection, that's on them. They probably haven't read the book, The Four Agreements, The Four Agreements. The four agreements are basically the agreements we make to ourselves. And there's four basic agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Always do your best. Don't let the projection of others affect how you feel and don't make assumptions. This person is making an assumption when they say that they're, they've been rejected, you know, as if there's something wrong with them. That means they've got more work to do because the truth is we're not compatible with 99.9% .9 of the people out there. <laughs> oh, that's favorably not true. Um, but the reality, I don't want to say compatible, but the reality is it's a very slim percentage of people that are actually a good fit for one another. I don't know how many people are actually in relationship who are happy, but my guess is it's less than 20% of the, all the people in relationship in the world are actually happy with one another. Now that's my anecdotal. I mean, it could be higher than 20%. It could be lower. What's most important is, are you happy with yourself? And that's my invitation for everyone here is to work on yourself because whether or not you find a man or a woman in your life or not, what's most important is the relationship you have with yourself. In fact, Esther Perel, who wrote the book Mating in Captivity, Mating in Captivity says, the quality of our relationships determines the quality of our life. And it starts with the relationship we have with ourself, the relationship we have with ourself. And so, Bringing back full circle, nice, N-I-C-E, name, in, uh, inquisitive, compliment, enthusiasm. And when you end it, just simply say, thank you for your time. I don't feel we're a fit and I want to wish you all the best. I hope that helped. Uh, thank you so much for that question, Declan's World. I really appreciate it. All right. Woohoo. We are on a roll. 